okay so in today's video i'll be showing you how to make use of a digital weighing balance i have been getting um reports from most of my students that they don't know how to make use of this device so i'll be showing you how to use it so first of all you have to put a battery into this digital weigh balance it makes use of batteries so you put the battery and you can see those buttons there we have the on and off button we have the mode button and we have the tear button so i've turned it on the digital weigh balance is on i've turned it on so i'm going to off it and turn it on again you can see the awning and the turning off of this um, weighing balance is controlled by a switch now that's the mode when i press it you notice an arrow moving up and down by the value zero you notice an, a black arrow going up and you observe it has come down again you see it there it's down so once i press the mode to go up so you see the arrow has gone up again now the up arrow represents gram then the when the once the arrow come down it represents ounces that oz stands for ounces once the arrow goes up it means that the weighing balance has now been set on gram it's measuring on gram now tell tell will take my value back to zero so that when i start taking my um, measurement it will start reading from zero upwards so i'm going to place something very light i mean you've seen that stuff i place on top of the weighing balance it's very light it's a disposable cup you need to place something very light on top of your weighing balance so i'm going to i want to measure my palm kernel oil this is palm kernel oil i'm going to take measurement on top of the weighing balance so this is my weighing balance i've turned it on I'm going to place my very light disposable cup on it. You need to use something very light. So I'll press my ta and to take me back to value of zero. So I'm going to start pouring my palm kernel oil into the cup. Now you see it's reading. It's still reading. The more I pour in the palm kernel oil, the more the value of the weighing balance increases so the weight of my palm kernel oil is reading is still reading so i'll add more palm kernel oil to still be reading you observe the more i add the palm kernel oil the more the value or the weight is showing that the weight is moving upwards now what is there is 422 grams we have 422 grams so it means that my palm kernel oil in this cup is weighing 422 grams now i'm going to show you how to use these grams and know the exact measurement of your caustic soda and water to use and make soap. So I'll use this gram to know the exact measurement of my caustic soda and water. So we are going to achieve that by the help of an app called Saponify. So I'm scrolling through now to locate the app. Okay, that's the app there. If you see it, see it there, it's called Saponify saponify so i'm going to click on it and to take me to the next screen so i've clicked on it that showed me different options there you've seen the arrow hit down and i've seen the three lines at the top left of the app you've seen three lines there i'm going to click on those three lines at the top left of this app now i've clicked on those three lines it has taken me to another screen where i've seen my recipes i've seen another one called oils there is another thing there called master classes. There is settings, then about the app. So I've clicked on settings and it has showed me in these settings now. This is where I can either change my unit to either grams, pounds, or ounces. So it's already set on grams. So I'll click on it. It will show me those options where if I want to work with pounds, I click on pounds. If I want to work with ounces, I click on ounces. But 
most people are used to grams. So I'll click our so we'll be working with grams in this our uh, explanatory video. So you see now I've click on pounds. So if I want to switch, I can still switch again to another unit. So I'll click on it. Then I'll switch to another unit now. Okay, I've switched to ounces. So just in case you work, want to work with ounces, you can switch to ounces. So it's on ounces now. So, but in this video, we are going to be working with grams because most people understand how to use grams more. So we'll be using grams. So I'm going to click on it again. It has showed me the other options. So I'll click on grams. So we are working with grams in this our explanatory video. So I will click on the top right, I mean on the top left of this video, on those three lines, to show me my recipes again. I will click on my recipes. Then we will start the real thing. So if you look at the um, bottom right of this video, you will see a plus sign. I will click on that plus sign and it will take me to another menu. At the bottom right of this video, you've seen the plus sign there. I will click on that plus sign. So it has taken me to another menu where I've seen um, settings and I've seen um, oils. So I will click on oils. In this oils, I'm going to click on it to show me different varieties of oil. Okay, it's not yet. So once I click on oils, if you look at the bottom right of this video, you see the plus sign. I click on it. It will now show me varieties of oils to use. So it's from here that I will now choose the oil that I want to use. So I'll be screwing. Since we use palm kernel oil in, uh, in taking our measurements, so I'm searching for palm kernel oil here. Okay, that's it. That's palm kernel oil. Have you seen it? That is palm kernel oil. I'm going to click on the plus sign by palm kernel oil. Beside palm kernel oil, that plus sign, I'll click on it. So I've clicked on the plus sign. It has highlighted as red. So I'm going to click on the good sign at the top right of this video. That good sign, I've clicked on it. So it will take me to this menu now, where I see zero grams. At this zero grams, that point where you see zero grams, at this zero grams, I'm going to impute the value of the palm kernel oil we got during, when we used our, um, our um, weighing balance. So we got 422 grams. So I'm going to impute it there. 422 grams. I'll click on the OK. I'll click on OK. So I will now click on the good sign at the top right of this video. Have you seen the good sign there? I'm going to click on it. To take us to another menu. Now, uh, hey, now this is what we have been looking for. Now at this menu, we will now see different things displayed here. You have seen the super fats. We have seen lye, L Y E, lye. Another name for lye is caustic soda. So this lie means caustic soda, so you won't, be, you won't be confused. We have seen liquid. Liquid represents water. This, this liquid is what we use to dissolve our caustic soda. This liquid or this water is what we use to dissolve our caustic soda or lye. Now we have seen the palm kernel oil. Our palm kernel oil is 422 grams. So with this 422 grams of palm kernel oil, the app is telling us that we are supposed to use 70.56 gram of caustic soda or lye and we are supposed to use 160 gram okay 160.36 grams of water so we are using 160 160.36 grams of water to dissolve 70.56 grams of caustic soda or lye so it means that our water measurement to be 160.36 grams and our lye measurement or our, or our caustic soda measurement will be 70.56 grams. So the water we use to dissolve our caustic soda will be 160.36 grams of water to dissolve 70.56 grams of caustic soda. So once we have dissolved it with this water, we will now, use, we will now stir it. After we've stirred our caustic soda and water mixture together, we will now pour it into our palm kernel oil and make our soap. So you can see this app makes soap making very easy. It gives you your measurements very easy. So thank you for watching this video. You can ask questions.